Hello ladies and gentlemen, Elijah Grimm here again today. And we're going to be adding more to the always be selling thing. Now, in the last video, I gave you some tips. Always be selling something. Do your research, find out what's selling on the market, what it's generally selling for, and how often it sells. I put some stuff out onto the market. We're going to check up on how much we made. And I'm going to put some more things up for sale. Some housing items and some materials that are used in crafting. And these are really good things to be putting up because the housing items, as long as you have your crafting skill of choice, whether it be culinarian, whether it be weaving, carpentry, blacksmithing, what have you, as long as you have it up to a decent level, you can make decent gill. Now, let's check our sales. Sangunia, let's see, what did she bring me? Let's check our sale history. Oh, we did pretty well. Most of the stuff we threw up there has sold. And that's almost a hundred thousand. Right there, perfect. Now let's see. Isena. What does she sell? Well, a lot of the limestone, the potter's clay, the pieced skin map. Seems we did pretty good. And again, almost a hundred thousand. We're almost at nine million gil. Perfect. Now, let's throw some more stuff up for sale. Some of our crafting gear still hasn't sold yet, that's fine. And some of the other materials we got haven't sold yet, and those materia are still sitting there. Whether it's going to sell or not, who knows. But let's throw up some of our housing items first. The red carpet. How much has it been selling for? Between 29, 30,000 and 25,000. I'm going to put this up for 28,800. And I'm only going to put two, even though I could make a lot more. I don't want to flood the market and cause a crash. The price is already pretty low, but it's a low level item. Let's see, the Oasis couch. Let's see, how much is that selling for? Right now, about 82,000. History. Huh, it's been going for pretty low, actually. Wow. But I think I'm going to do 82,500. Whoops, 82,500. There we go. And hopefully that'll sell pretty quickly. Bowl of Odin. This is a culinarian crafting skill or crafting recipe. And let's see, how much has that been selling for? Wow, it's been fluctuating a lot between 20,000 and 30,000. And it's been selling pretty okay. Not fantastic, but not bad either. So I'm going to do 29,900. I'm not going to drop the price too low because I don't want to crash the market. The undyed woolen cloth. Now we've got some people selling for quite a bit. And this stack, <laughs> I don't know if this stack is ever going to sell. Let's see the trade history. Oh yeah. Past few days it has been going like crazy. And the price has been pretty consistent uh, between 4,600 and 3,000. I'm going to go with 3,700. And I'm going to sell the entire stack. And that should sell pretty well. 103,000 gil. The high quality. Let's see, how much can I get for that? 
And again, between 3,800 and 10,000. Closest stack is selling for 18. I've got eight. So I'm going to do 7,500. And that should sell pretty well. Okay, we still got a couple items left to put up for sale. Let's go ahead and finish that off. Wool and yarn, the high quality stuff. Weavers love this stuff. And you can get away with selling a pretty decent sized stack because they need it to make the woolen cloth. Now, let's check our sale history. It's been going between 1900 and 1 for 6,000. That's a good example of a small stack earning more gill than larger stacks. But since I got a decent amount of gill, I'm going to do 1800. And that's almost 30,000. And the high quality fleece. And right now the going rate seems to be pretty good. Let's check the history here. Yeah, that's pretty decent between 800 and 700. So it's been fluctuating over the past couple of days. But I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with, uh, let's see, 795. Why not? It's a bit of an odd number, but that's fine. And again, it's just that easy. Find some things on the market board that seem to be selling. Do your due research, due diligence, and do things that you can do yourself. That way you don't have to spend any gill on materials or anything like that. I hope you found this interesting. I hope you found this informative, and I'll see you next time.